Hello guys, I hope you are doing fine. Today we are going to talk about creating topography in Revit as we have created for this residential building. Before starting, I would like to ask you to please subscribe my channel. It will really help me a lot in creating videos like this. So let's get started. First of all, we will delete this topography we have already created. But before that, I think so. Uh, we need to change the visual style because the realistic style really takes too much power from the computer uh, and we will convert it to a shaded one uh, yes we can save the project no problem as you can see it really sometimes so uh, now we will delete this topography uh, we will select this one and we will press delete now we have only the building model I have already opened up few relevant view tabs ground floor side 3d south elevation and section uh, we will go to the site so for creating the topography we have here massing and site tab under massing and site tab we have topo surface we will select the topo surface and here we will have an option for elevation so we need to give here a value positive or negative as we can see there is already negative value so i would like to give here plus nine so nine feet press enter and i will start from this corner here and then maybe I will come down 8.58 and here here as you can see it has created this patch and created the contour lines as well so in this manner we will continue 8 feet seven feet maybe 1.5 So in this manner I will speed up and continue. I will give one feet. Yeah. And minus one feet. Here. And minus two feet. Here. And minus two feet here as well. Alright, we have created this topography. Now we will click finish surface and then we will look in the 3D what we have got. Very nice. Uh, let's go to the site uh, tab because as you can see our uh, building is also sunken into the topography. So we need to give some more points. So I will go to uh, the section. As you can see our topography is going through the building like that. So uh, in the section we can see we have ground floor on 0 feet and then we have here this garage level and that is on uh, minus 6 inches and uh, then we have here small ramp and then we have here the road. So considering all the factors, so we will go to 3D and then uh, maybe to the side butter and uh, we will select this and uh, after selecting the topography we will edit the surface we will add more points so after choosing place point i would like to give uh, for example minus six inches maybe zero we will place zero zero value along the boundary of the project and uh, we can also open the uh, ground floor level and we can choose the edges and here and maybe in the middle as well here here maybe here is here as well maybe here as well here in the middle maybe somewhere here and then uh, last yeah here I guess we have defined so anyway we can give it 
so we will go to the side to check how many points we have defined so we have already we can see the points so the topography has been changed as well so uh, maybe I would like to give some point here as well so we can go control C so let's have a look what we have created so I will press ok any surface and I will go to the 3D and here alright so now to fix this issue I will go to the uh, wireframe and maybe here we can choose our points or maybe and I will select this edit yes and now I can see my points so basically what I want I want this level of the topo surface to go exactly under this slab on on the bottom face of the slab so there are two ways I can choose this one and I can give the exact level by going to the section by having some basic understanding and on the other hand there is very easy and nice way is I choose a line and then I choose this multiple alignment because we will uh, align all these uh, points and then I, I give a reference as bottom face of this slab and then I start choosing this points oh, sorry this bottom surface and then this and then this this and then maybe here and here then maybe this one then definitely this one as well or yes this one this one this one this one and this one this one this one okay nice nice we can now we can see easily that we have created this uh, topography so we will hit ok and then we will see what are the mistakes uh, we will change the view style to shady okay now we are not able to see our ramp here and our road here so we will go to the side and uh, we will choose this uh, uh, topo surface and then we will edit it again so what I want is I want to give some more points uh, align to this point because here we have our level changing and then here to this point also and then here and then here and then here and here okay all right let's see what we have done so uh, first select this go to edit surface go to the wireframe so let's see what we have here all right so what we can do is we can again choose our align tool uh, we would like to align our this this point to the bottom of this slab Okay, and uh, this this point to the bottom of this one, and this point we would like to align to. We are not able to choose. Have a. Yes, now we can choose. Yes, here and here. Yes, now correct. Okay, yes, now maybe this one. We will press escape and then again. I would like this one to this one and then maybe This point align this point should go under the road to the bottom of road and here press escape and 
done through the alignment again and we will give this bottom and this one and then this one is aligned so maybe this one and this one okay I guess it's okay now so let's check what we have in the 3D appreciate it so as you can see uh, the back side is okay the front side we have here some problem because we are not able to see our load convert here we will try to convert it to the consistent colors yes we cannot see our road and uh, I guess problem is only with the road what we can do is we can go to the side we can again add some points along the road uh, yeah. so add some points here here so automatically it is giving us guide for uh, the road so here um, Anyway, it's no problem. So we can no no need to save right now. So we will go to 3D. We will check our points. Go to the wireframe. And now I want to select my surface and go to edit. And now I want to align these new points under the road. So I will press alignment. I will choose bottom surface. And I will choose this this. Uh, this one, uh, this one, and this one, this one, this one, this one, and uh, this one. Alright, now we have created our topography, and now I guess the road is visible. We can go to the shade and we can check. So, I guess uh, we have uh, created our topography in the proper manner. We'll go to home, and then we will check that either it is okay or not so let's go to the realistic view so again sorry guys it will take some time so bear with me so in creating uh, you can create the controls as well so very good now we can see our road is visible our uh, terminations to the building for this topography is very well rounded and uh, our building looks very realistic so as in the section also we can go and check that the topo surface is under this slab so it is not above or not coming into the building as we saw before here we can cut to two points and we can give additional points to adjust our uh, topo surface so i guess that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys learned something please subscribe my channel for more videos like this so see you inshallah in new videos uh, till that time thank you for watching and bye bye